Hi there. Me again, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. So I'm going to do a couple videos today. This one's going to be a relatively short one, maybe five or six minutes. This one is going to be called Stand Up Against Stroke. So I had the good fortune <laughs> of having my stroke in June. Uh, the only real specific date in my life that meant anything was about a month after my stroke was my birthday. be honest, I was still trapped in the immediacy of the stroke to be really wanting to be celebrating anything. Um, I was still kind of gobsmacked I was still alive. Let alone, if not confused at times because of the stroke. Now then, you were going to have friends and family uh, or acquaintances, uh, workmates, people that you know of that have had a stroke. Um, or, you know what? They just might be in the hospital over Christmas. Now, is that a rehab recovery facility? Is that the proper hospital? You know, and especially for those that are going to, and I'm going to say this, there's at least, if I've done my sums correctly, in North America, there's going to be about, I think I did the sums to 900 people are going to have a stroke in between Canada and the U.S. Um, between the 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th of December. Think about it. About 900 people will have a stroke. Now, I'm not going to say anything more about that, but that's that's potentiality. Just think about you're about to spend one of the happiest days of the year, allegedly, um, being scared to death because you almost died. Right? So I'm, what I'm going to ask is for those of you that haven't had a stroke or for those of you that have had a stroke and have the availability to do so um, and you're able to do so, uh, do whatever you can to support those that are currently or may still be in the hospital over Christmas, right? So show up with a coffee, show up with a tea, show up with a muffin, show up with the juice. Do not attempt to sneak pizza and beer into the hospital. So I'm going to ask anyone that's going to bring food in, please be respectful of their dietary plan, the restrictions, and, and don't pull bullshit in a hospital. Simple things like maybe calling your local hospital um, and inquiring, do they have a stroke unit uh, or a neuro recovery unit? Uh, you know, do they have an ICU? Do they have like, <clears throat> think of someone that is, is going to be spending time away from their friends and family, from their home. They're going to be in that scary place called the ICU uh, or stroke step down. What can you do to make even someone you don't happen to know, make their day a better day that day? You know, could be something simple, right? Um, doesn't have to cost a lot of money, may only cost time. But ultimately, uh, all I would ask is that anyone that happens to see this, do whatever you can do to stand up against stroke, right? And uh, something as simple as, you know, bringing in cookies. Uh, make, make sure whatever you're going to do, you get clearance to do so via the hospital. If you don't happen to know anyone that's currently in the hospital, because that would be kind of odd. You just show up like, oh, I have cookies. Um, but if you have someone that you know that's in the hospital, you know, bring in cookies, right? Bring in brownies, um, bringing in whatever it takes, you know, just to show your appreciation, your support. And then for the nurses and the doctors and the attendants and the porters and the housekeeping staff that have to deal with with being away from their friends and family to assist your friends and family during the Christmas period, I would also suggest doing something, you know, special for them, right? I remember my nurses. I remember the Sarah with an H, Sarah without an H, uh, down in Emerge at RVH. There was Mary, uh, I believe there was Tiffany, if I remember you correctly. You were my day nurse. Um, there was Mackie, my night nurse. Love the popsicles at Oh, dark, stupid. Thank you ever so much. Um, there was a couple other nurses I had. Uh, I don't remember your names exactly. I'll be quite honest about that. I, I know I've written them down somewhere. But to the nurses that are there, you know, day in, day out, to the cleaners, the porters, the doctors, that will be there to help support your loved one during literally the worst time of their life. Again, 
a little bit of appreciation thrown down their range uh, in their downrange in their direction will be greatly appreciated as well. Again, if you don't happen to know someone that's currently in the hospital, don't just randomly show up. You're probably going to want to organize that with the hospital administrator first because, again, it would look kind of weird. Oh, I brought cookies. You know, um, because when you're in the hospital and you're recently post stroke, or you're going through the throes of recovery after your stroke, it's a pretty daunting situation. It's a, it's a fairly scary, scary, scary time. Um, so all I would ask is for those of you that want to be able to support someone that is currently in the hospital and you want to stand up against stroke, please do so. Please take your time, a little bit of energy, right? And it doesn't cost any, if mo a lot of money at all. Just showing up with a coffee, hot chocolate, cup of tea, hanging out for a couple hours. Right. So, something so simple could brighten someone's day. Right. On, on a level you would have no idea. Right? Um, especially when you're just sort of lying there being poked and prodded all the time by the doctors and nurses. And I want to figure out what's wrong with you or how, how to make you better. So... All I would ask, for those of you who wish to, if you want to stand up against stroke, um, you can like, share this video as much as you want, uh, publish it however you choose to. I just ask you if you're going to publish the video, please do so in its entirety. And if you happen to know someone that's in the hospital and they haven't had a stroke, so what? Go spend time with them, right? Uh, try to make this Christmas period, for those that are involuntarily separated from friends and family uh, due to a medical nature, you know, try to make it a good, uh, as, as best as possible. I realize that there'll be a little bit of a dark cloud hanging around in the room at times, but you know what? You know, if, if they're mentally acute, uh, able to play a game of cards, uh, euchre, cribbage, pepper, gin, rummy, whatever, no problem at all. You know, is it a matter of just, you know, coming in and, and hanging out, you know, or... If, if they're not able to read, you know, maybe read to them, if, if that's sort of your bag. Um, I would suggest anything, you know, by Emily Bronte, definitely. If you're going to read anything, it, you might want to read Emily Bronte, because I hear there, she's a really good author. Nope, that's a joke for a friend. <laughs> so, on that note, I'm going to run away now. Uh, if you happen to like what you've been watching over the last five and a half months, it's almost coming up on six months now, uh, please like, share, subscribe. If you happen to know someone's going through their own post-stroke journey, please like, share, subscribe, point the channel out to them. And if you happen to notice either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke, such as, uh, you know, they appear befuddled or confused, they have uh, vision problems, eye issues that, that come on rather quickly, you see in grayscale, you can't see to one eye, um, you don't see color, uh, you're not able to move your eyes in one direction or another, uh, they have facial droop, they can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all, they can't smile equally effectively or at all. Sudden onset, slurring, stuttering of speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, general body weakness, weakness on one side, or unable to maintain their own body weight, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life. And remember, hashtag stand up to stroke.